It was on May 21, 1975, as I met the designer of the Saturn V, Professor Dr. Werner von Braun, in my hometown Stuttgart. From stuttgart hofeld where I grew up, I had made me on the way to Killesburg and arrived there with the legendary Tram 10, which one you can see in the picture. To see in this picture as well is also the stairs where I spoke to Werner von Braun first and asked him for an autograph. After he had signed the autograph, Werner von Braun put his arm around me and we walked together up the stairs. During our walk, I asked him to write in my space book, but he refused and promised me that he would sign my book after his presentation. I followed Werner von Braun in the lecture hall and there I saw his presentation on the latest developments in space technology. After Werner von Braun's lecture, I was always on his heels, and Werner von Braun had not forgotten me. Suddenly he took me into a side room, where Werner von Braun signed my book, asked for my age, and told me about his son Peter. And then he went even further back. When I left the room, I was approached by a journalist Birgit Menzel Buchner, of the daily newspaper Stuttgart Nachrichten. She interviewed me, and the next day I could read about my meeting with Professor Dr. Werner von Braun in the newspaper. It was so great. A few months later, on March 8, 1976, I had a meeting with the former director of the Kennedy Space Center, Dr. Kurt Debus. Dr. Debus had for some years an office in my hometown Stuttgart, and I had the great joy of meeting him there for a 20-minute talk. So I have met within one year the two Germans who have contributed significantly to the success of the Apollo program. Meanwhile, I was able to get to know personally many astronauts. One of them is the famous Mercury astronaut Scott Carpenter. Until now I met him for two times and Scott and I had always very nice conversations. And we had become friends. At our first meeting we also talked about his meeting with President John F. Kennedy. Scott said, that John F. Kennedy is the best president the United States ever had. I agreed, of course. Then astronaut Scott Carpenter said something where I will never forget. Scott said, without President John F. Kennedy and Werner von Braun, we would not have landed on the moon. I was surprised and delighted. And Scott was right. Without the political decision President John F. Kennedy's for the flight of the moon, and without the technological performance of Werner von Braun and his Saturn team in Huntsville, it would have been no moon landing in 1969. Astronaut Scott Carpenter praised not only the successful work of Werner von Braun's, he also expresses his admiration for Werner von Braun as man. Today, on his 100th birthday, I would like to remind not only to the scientist Werner von Braun, Werner von Braun was also a professing Christian. And so I will close my movie with a quote from the German rocket engineer Werner von Braun. You gave me this love for exploration and adventure and spaceflight, and also this gift to transform the dreams into reality. I have lived and worked as one little part of your boundless creation. If we succeed with this journey to the moon, it will be to your glory. If we don't, it is your will. As far as I am concerned, I have used all the talents you have put into me, and I have done my very best.